Hey there, so this time we're going to take a look at uh, fixing an issue that we got from a, a client. And um, so the issue here is that uh, we use a technique called hyphenation to make the pages more readable uh, using a jQuery plugin. Uh, but there's some undesirable effects here as it's hyphenating the um, the uh, the headlines, the subheadings as well. So we're just going to go in there and fix that. So it looks like the name of this page is Youth Youthful Skin. So we'll go into the admin panel and find this. Go edit. And so um, there's a couple things in here we're going to look at. Um, number one is going to be when I was looking at it, we'll look at like the client sees it. So it's in the visual panel. And so when I was looking at the screenshot, maybe I should just open the actual page. Okay, so on the screenshot there was a tab here, which I was going to get rid of, but it looks like it's already gone. Um, okay, so getting rid of the hyphen. hyphen uh, that's just a matter of going in here, and you're going to click the HTML tab, and you'll see there's an H3. And so by default, it's going to hyphenate it, but if you don't want it to hyphenate, you just type in class equals quote no hyphenate. And let's see if that was. So interestingly enough, it looks like it's an IE problem, which is um, not surprising. But uh, you're just going to go in there and type in no hyphenate, and it should work. So actually, uh, it's not no hyphenate, it's don't hyphenate, like that, don't hyphenate. So anywhere where you see that problem where it's hyphenating, if you go in and add this, it will fix the problem. And we'll look into a longer term fix for um, making this easier to do, but right now this is the, this is the quickest way to do it. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this empty strong tag as well. So again, to recap, when you come in here, the, you'll be looking at the visual panel, which shows you the visual layout of your of your um, page. And to um, get to the no hyphenate, you just click the HTML tab, and then you're just going to add this after the H3s and H4s and other subheadings, and that should remove it. There's one more thing I'm going to take care of. Uh, this was one of the pages we initially set up for the client, so the author field is set to Gunner Tech which probably is not what you want. You probably want it to be the name of the client. So I'm just going to change it to uh, client's name and then click update. And you should go and you should see that it has the correct author's name and everything like that. And that's it.